channel so today i'm coming at you with another kmart haul this one's going to be a little bit like a mini haul because there's not as many things as i usually get but i thought they were interesting things to show you anyways especially some self-care items that i've picked up that i think any mummy out there really really needs to implement in their daily ritual so i'm really excited to show you those items specifically but yeah i just picked up some random things some things for me some things for the kids of course and yeah let's get into the video <music> Before I do start, please do subscribe down below if you haven't already. Thumbs up if you like Kmart hauls, so I know to do a lot more in the future. And yeah, let's get into it. So first thing I'm going to show you is the thing that I actually went into the store to get. And it's this here. So you probably don't really know what it is from me holding it like this. But it is a soft touch blanket. Um... A little bit of backstory when it comes to this so we actually have adopted a cat only for six weeks because our friends have gone overseas for that period of time and they needed someone to look after their little kitty so we picked up this blanket not for the kitty to sleep on but because as you can see we have leather couches and we want to save the couch from the cat's claws um, because there was an incident on the actual the first night that we had her and she fell asleep right here actually on the couch um, but she went into such a deep sleep she almost fell off the couch and clawed the couch to keep herself on there so my husband kind of freaked out a little bit so we had to cover the couch with something so I picked up this blanket he actually picked up two of these um, and yeah it's just a black soft touch blanket it should two two of these should cover our couch fine um but basically it's just to cover the couch to protect it from our kitty that we are currently adopting next thing i got you probably think i'm a little bit crazy because i'm already prepping for christmas i have so many kids that i buy for for christmas so i always have to think ahead of time and plan gifts especially when it comes to my kids because yeah, there's just so many gifts to buy for. <clears throat> but anyways, we have buying the little animal figurines from Kmart for a little while now. And we're slowly collecting them um, during each birthday or celebration. And I'm always adding these to the kids' wish list as well. But when I went to store today, I wasn't going to buy these because I've already got a whole heap of these in storage. But when I went into store, I actually saw they had the Australian animals, which I have not seen for a long time since we started actually collecting these. Um, they are available online but you can't get them in store so I picked up the kangaroo and the koala I just thought this is super cute they've got like a little joey in its pouch and a little mummy koala and a baby koala as well um, so I picked up this pack I also picked up the what is this like a possum no, I don't even know what this animal is. If you know, leave it in the comments below because I'm not too sure what this animal is called. But there's also like a echidna like that. What's this animal here, guys? All right. Oh, come on, focus. Let me know what its proper name is. But I picked up these two animals as well. And the last one I got are these birds. So again, this is from the Australian range. And we have the cockatoo and is that a baby emu? I think it's a baby emu. Looks like that. So yeah, picked up these three. And then I also found this horse that I haven't seen yet. They've got a bunch of horses. And my daughter is actually obsessed with the horses. Um, she's got like maybe five. She's got the big pack of five. And then she's got two or three of these big ones as well. Um, but I found this one. I thought it was really cool because like jumping in the air. And then I think this is a new item because I haven't seen them before. But my kids have the farm set as well that goes with those animals. Um, and you do get some animals with that farm set as well. But then when I went into the store today, I actually saw that they had... 
the zoo version how cool is that because we do have zoo animals as well that we're collecting we've just been putting them in the farm set as well and just dividing the fence off to those animals but now i found the zoo set as well so this is what it looks like so it comes with nine sorry two trees nine fences three gates and two hail bales i think this was 12 dollars each and i ended up buying two of them just because we have so many animals already and i have two kids and i thought it'd be super cool to join these packs together and make a super big zoo so yeah 12 dollars each and i think i'm going to keep these for christmas presents as well as those animals i'm going to open the animals from their packets and add these to their stocking stuffers so really good idea for stocking stuffers I know it's super early to be talking about Christmas, but guys, I have to plan ahead. It's the only way. So yeah, they're stuff for the kids. Now let's move on to things for me. The first thing is like a workout bralette. Um, this is the one I picked up. Really cool purple print. Um, looks like that. And I really love the back of this one as well. Looks like that. And this was discounted to $5, originally $8. And then I bought the matching pants or leggings as well. So again, these are just workout pants that look like this. These are full, these are full length, um, these are full length leggings. So yeah, they've got the same print as the little bralette. Um, and these were $10. Um, discounted $10 from $18. The next thing I got is just a pair of earrings. I love Kmart earrings. I think they're so dainty and really cool designs. And I mean, they're super cheap as well. So who wouldn't like some cheap earrings? Um, so I got these ones here this time. So I got these ones here. So they're actually two set. Um, so these ones are just like little studs. And then you've got these dangly earrings as well. Just thought that these will go with a lot of different items. You can dress it up and jazz up an outfit. And these were only $4. All right, now we're getting to the end of the video. And this is what I'm most excited about to start using. And I was so excited that I found this. I'm currently going on a bit of a journey with my self-care and just changing things that I'm doing just day to day, just to have a more uplifting and enjoyable life i guess um i have started like a little project that i will talk about in another video it's all about switching your mindset to manifest the things that you actually want to draw into your life and also just thinking in a more positive way as well i've really made a focus about eating healthy and feeding the kids healthy nutritious food as well and again that goes into line with the current project that i'm working on at the moment when i saw these items here i just thought they'll be perfect that fit into my whole um my whole change of lifestyle at the moment so the first thing is this sticker book here so it's just a sticker book it's got 350 stickers and it's for decorating DIY projects, planners, vision boards, and gifts. So I have a whole bunch of different journals that I use. I obviously have my 2019 diary as well. Um, and then just a bunch of other journals as well that I'm using. So I always love to use these really cool, motivating, and just pretty looking stickers. Um, and I found a whole book that has them um, because my planner that I got from Kmart actually came with some of these stickers, but I've used most of them up already. I was pretty excited when I found this whole book of stickers because then I can keep adding stickers to my journal and my planner and all that as well. So that's super cool. But it's got some um, like motivational quotes as well um, and just some things to... Yeah, just to pretty up your journals or your planner or whatever you're using at the moment. The next thing I got is just a weekly planner. So it looks like this. I do have a um, big planner already, um, but I thought this would be good to have it like on a visual so I can really see and map out the whole week of duties and things I need to do for each day. And that way I can keep myself accountable as well for all the tasks that I need to accomplish on each of the days of the week. Um, it's just a more of a, I guess, a clear snapshot of the weeks. And then my planner will be, um, you know, things that I'll add in a little bit more detail. And now I'm down to the very, very last thing that I'm so, so excited to show you guys. 
um, and super excited to start using. I found this really cool notebook and this is not just any normal notebook. It's actually a gratitude notebook like that. So inside it has, oops, that's going to show up on camera. So it's got the date up here and it's got, I will let go of. So it's got, you're going to let go of some of like the burden that you're having, the stress that you're having um, or whatever you want to add there. So it's got a line for that and it says, I'm grateful for. And it's got like some lines here that you can fill out every day of things that you are grateful for. And this is a great way to just implement a bit of positivity at the start of your day or even at the end of your day, depending on when you have time to do it. Um, but I just think it's a great way just to switch your mindset of all the negative things in your life and just to think in a more positive way. Um, it also has, I will focus on, and there's four dot points there that you can focus on. So things that you want to improve um, or change in your life. And yeah, just a really great way to like even look back on things that you did accomplish and that you got over. I just really like the whole idea of documenting things that you're grateful for. Um, and really like writing it down and having it implemented into your brain so you can think in a more positive way. Anyways, that got a little bit deep at the end of that, I'm sorry. Um, not my typical Kmart haul, but I'm sure you understand why I was so excited about those end items. But that is the end of my haul. I hope you have enjoyed watching. If you have, please don't forget to subscribe down below. I would really love to have you follow me on my YouTube journey. I really do appreciate every single one of my subscribers. Thank you so much for all the love. And please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up as well. It will just show me that you do enjoy Kmart hauls and, um, gets me motivated to do even more of them so with all that said i hope you have a lovely lovely day and thanks again for watching bye everyone